I'm calling with peace when the wind goes through the hollows of your skull. Sitting in a sparsely furnished room that is engulfed in flames, you can no longer see the filthy window, the dingy bed, the dust-colored TV, or the battered wooden writing desk. You can only see the door. You feel the knob with the back of your hand. Then you turn the knob and step out into a hallway that is also engulfed in flames. You meet a woman in the hallway with heavy, dark brown hair and enormous blue eyes. She steps out from the left and blocks your path to the stairwell. She starts having a dull conversation with you about the fire. You try changing the subject because the fire is more obvious than the weather. You want to talk about how a responsible person might save up money so that when they die, they don't leave their family stuck with the bill for the funeral. But she wouldn't budge. She keeps talking about the fire while the smoke thickens and the flames overwhelm. The pumpkin seeds are salty beside the paintings and half-empty bottles of red, chess pieces, paint brushes, and typewriter. The crooked bulletin board doesn't make progress any faster. There are letters to mail, games to be won, debts to be paid, and red jellyfish. There are bears and bumper cars protected by heavy black curtains. A small piece of the rectangle next to the iguana, who's actually a radiator. And there are fabrics to dampen the books, and fabrics to dampen the nets with shoes and wood, lamps and lotion, an orange cat, a snake, a towel, and inert empty beer bottles and pizza boxes from Domino's. And now there are gargoyles, and the thought of gargoyles measured in the distances between things. Maybe images are not the real thing, but the brain waves are the same, whether saying or doing, making this something that can't be said, understood, or marketed towards anything stricter than ostracization. Do us all a favor and bargain it towards someone else. Try to meet the carnivore alone. Paraphernalia chairs with weapons. Skies with fish tank gradients of books, of cushions, of cats, of water. Paraphernalia cushions the water and the meteors rise. Accumulates, fly up like fish. Tuberculosis divides but accumulates. Beats weapons and psilocybin. Boats beat weeds, barnacles tapestries and monarchs who run monarchies into the ground of development and postures. Postures produce posures, break windows and sneak ties, barrel windows and homes made of walls, borrow homes made of walls to the reveal, paraphernalia, boom the cities and armchairs with cushions and computers and cats and jazz, destructive paraphernalia, confiscate, 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 may rest and hide spies, blinds eyes and maneuvers books on shelves and burgers and fries, drinking water by the gallons with ham hawks flying, sarcastic bats feet blasts of sarcophagus aspects of abstract parquet floors, trap keeping to the paraphernalia, Vanalia. Listen to the wild, arrogant pasta dishes with arrowheads. Break banisters with towel heads. Beat ministers with paraphernalia. Cherish prisoners wrong often. There's more to another clock beasting down a burning hall. Thank you. Wow. <laughs>